Impromptunes acknowledges that this podcast is recorded on the traditional lands of the Boonwurrung peoples of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and celebrate their enduring connections to country, knowledge and stories. Impromptunes, 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 imprompt. Do you hear the people improvising? Good people of the world, thanks for tuning in to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Now here they are, the cast of Impromptunes. G'day, it's me, Emma Nichols. Thank you so much for tuning in to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. i got to say, I am thrilled to be back because I haven't been in the studio for a while. And thanks to our Patreons, we have upgraded to a new computer. We've bought a whole computer that's dedicated just to this podcast. And I'm taking a photo of Morgan with it now. He's very proud. Brenna is crouching awkwardly in the background and I got most of her face. Um, but uh, that's a big spoiler for who the first... Uh, of our performers in the studio, <laughs> Brenna Glacebrook. Oh, who, me? <laughs> My dear old friend, how are you? Oh, great, Emma. It's so good to be back. Uh, isn't it? And I notice you're rocking the um, stripey... Um, is it burglar vibes? Is um, that... Some people prefer to it as a Breton stripe. A Breton stripe? Some people stripe. refer to it as oh. nautical or naughty cool. Oh. <laughs> if you're nasty. Well, if you um... know Brenna uh, Glacebrook as I do, you'll know that <laughs> naughty and cool are two very good adjectives to describe her. Yes, I'm a teacher. I use the word adjectives on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also um, in the studio, we have on the computer, as mentioned before, Morgan Phillips on the tech desk, also on keys, the fabulously talented and similarly red-headed David Peake. We've got three redheads in the studio Ooh. tonight, which is quorum, so... It's my fave. I love it. We can make all the decisions. And as a triumvirate that we are, which is a Roman group of powerful men, uh, researched that earlier. Yeah, Emmett said that before and was like, is it a word? <laughs> and has since looked it up to try to sound smart. Uh, Morgan, busted. can we cut the bit where Brenner undermines my intelligence? <laughs> Sorry, it's impossible. It's impossible. The new computer won't allow it. But the Triumvirate has agreed that we're going to have a special guest in for the studio tonight, which is the amazing Sweeney Pressed On! Thank you. Thank you very much. So great to have you, Sweeney. Thank you for guesting with us. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Look, guys, it's going to be really hard to go back to normal life where every word I say isn't punctuated by piano in the background. Oh, I know. <laughs> isn't it fantastic? There's actually an episode um, a few weeks ago where David just did an absolute zinger. He, he actually undermined my intelligence just by playing the piano. So maybe we go back. Get one go a season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you're cut. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, keep a listen out for that. I think it was about a month ago now. But, um, Sweeney, what a, what a fabulous... Um, um, opportunity for you to, to have your speech narrated by music is is that something that you wish for in your day to day life? Honestly, this is the peak, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like I've I've gone international, I've done interstate stuff, but honestly, right here in South Yarra, right this here, is right now. this is the peak. That's it. Yeah. And so, um, what what uh, obviously you've got a comedy background yourself. You just we just um, shared a room actually with Sweeney at the International Comedy Festival, Trace Hall, the Quilt Room, um, and so you were doing a like. Night Variety uh, PowerPoint show. Yeah, so the full name of the show, which uh, <laughs> it's okay, I mean, it took me about six months to learn, and it's my show. Uh, we did the Late Night PowerPoint Comedy Showcase, which is a mouthful. Yeah. Um, it was part of my tra training for this, actually. Yeah, oh. just getting uh, your vocab up. <laughs> just to get it all in there. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, it was such a fun time. We, we shared a room with you guys in that very sweaty very room sweaty. in Trades oh, Hall. Yeah. Thank God for that big window that we could open up and let in a fraction of cold air, but there, it was like a, it was a sauna in there yeah. after a show. And I think it's because we all had such hot, hot audiences. Yes, right? that mean, must have been it. It was an amazing time. Like uh, I think both of our shows did really well in terms of audience numbers. People just yeah. got behind them. It was awesome. My face was fully exfoliated after every show. <laughs> I was sweating. That's what it was you awesome. Want. That's what no, we had such a good you time. Want, you want a cleanse and a comedy show in <laughs> one, right? Sweeney's actually 53, but after <laughs> comedy festival, <laughs> looking amazing. Yeah, we um, all feel a bit older after comedy festival, though, so probably we're <laughs> but yeah, we did that show and then uh, so I do a show with my friend Ethan Kavanagh. We had another show. Uh, they were both PowerPoint comedy, right. both our shows as festivals. This so is just your new niche. Really hitting the niche, yeah. yeah. Um, and we had such a good time. Uh, and we've even, actually, there's a cheeky little secret, huh? just locked in a return show uh, for the late night PowerPoint comedy showcase on the 7th of July at Comedy Republic. Yes! Lovely. Well, we'll post a link to your socials, Sweeney, and people can find that. But first, they have to 
to find out if they like your stuff. No, tell me, <laughs> tell me about, um, tell me about the PowerPoint like showcase. So basically, every guest had like was it eight minutes to to put a like to do a PowerPoint comedy like. So pretty much, we figured out that a lot of comedians in Melbourne actually had <laughs> like PowerPoint material lying around, but it's just so hard to perform it with like uh, projectors and so stuff. So annoying. And when you sometimes when you get to a venue, the venue staff don't know what's going on. So we were just like, you know what? We'll put it all on the one yeah. laptop. Yeah. Our two hundred. 87 slide PowerPoint every oh single night. God. Really? Um, it, it was a, that like, kind of link? such a headache to organise oh some God. nights. But we did it and the audience just loved it. It was a 10pm show and yeah. people just like at that time of night they've just had a couple of beers in them and they just want lights and sounds to kind of keep them <laughs> oh, occupied. Shiny. It's, it's like putting an iPad PowerPoint after 10. It's like putting yeah. an iPad in front of a kid. Yeah, just, sure. Yeah, I'd like much. for you, Brenna, like you tend to go home at about 10pm and get on the PowerPoint. Just get you? on the PP. Like, <laughs> don't try and stop me. Just don't try First and stop me. PP and then a PP. Oh, it started on the Excel and then I was like, I need more. Yeah. And then I was just like, PowerPoint me, baby. And Do, do now we see, Sweeney, myself. a future for like Excel-based comedy? Well, so that's, Emma, you've actually touched on the future plan. So wow. next year we've got the one-note PowerPoint comedy showcase. After that, <laughs> uh, we've got the publisher PowerPoint comedy showcase. Wow. Uh, we're really driving that niche. Hard. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And are you sponsored by Microsoft at all or is there room for Google? Um, no, we're waiting on the cease and desist. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. sure. yeah I was thinking that because I saw your, um, your branding and it like there's no subtlety about like whether what you're you know referencing. Oh, oh we know the day is going to come where we have to change the name to the late night slideshow comedy show. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, but that day hasn't come yet. So for the time being, I Sweetie, do. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Um, what's your favorite transition on PowerPoint? Uh-huh. Oh, swivel. Swivel. Oh, oh, yeah. oh swivel boy. This guy's crazy. But I've always been a slow yeah. like fade to black, but you know like <laughs> sure. play it safe. Sure, sure. <laughs> I don't sniff at a random bars either though. So it's all happening. I don't discriminate. What about you? Uh, oh, uh, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that, that at all. You got, you're, yeah, you're but working Yeah, in bars in is and obviously in another PowerPoint. transition. Because yeah. I'm, I'm just picturing wh- you sniffing at bars being like, oh, I don't do that anymore. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one where you like press a button and like one line comes on and you press a button and then the next line comes on. Press a button and the next line comes on. It's like oh, you're anticipating what's coming next, even uh, though you ultimately know because you've given enough away to know exactly what's coming next. Yeah. But that's, that's our whole show. It's just an hour of that. Oh, stunning. I'm yeah. Just center. different transition. Yeah, it's just the letters of our name coming out one at a time. <laughs> of the show yes. title, which is which is w. incredibly long. So <laughs> People walk out, they're like, what did I watch? <laughs> and so in terms of marketing, obviously you've um, you've leapt onto a popular brand in, in Microsoft, but also you, you mentioned that the title of the show, was that a creation of yours? You said it was, you couldn't remember it. Did you come up with the title or was it your partner? Is it Ethan? So we wrote it down. The way we were really talking about it at the start was all through like Messenger and stuff. So oh. I hadn't actually ah. spoken the name out loud <laughs> Yeah. because um, we were kind of conversing mostly. It was at the start of lock, uh, the end of the last lockdown oh, when we yeah. kind of came up with the concept. Yeah, nice. um, yeah it was all written down and um, and because we had the other show going on which was called Presentation is Everything which was like a super Cash, easy name. Yes. For yes. Great. The Marketing other show win. was just too much jargon yeah. in the one name. Name. Eventually wow. we got it, but yeah, mostly it was written down. <laughs> R- reverse is true for impromptu. It's really easy to say and conceptualise and then you start to spell it and you're like, uh, P M M P T. A lot of people call us impromptu's for that exact yeah. reason. For so long I thought it was impromptu's. <laughs> and that makes sense as well. Kind no. of. <laughs> no. I've struck a nerve there, haven't I? Yeah. Hard no. And then get him out of the Anyway, studio. that's all we have time for. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are going to be doing an improvised musical with you here tonight, Sweeney. So what about you inspired you to get on this pod? I mean, it is a crazy thing for someone to do. I just, I love the format. I've, I've seen it last year. My good friend, Jacob Quack, uh, is a uh, member of the show. Shout out to Jacob Shout out to Mark Quack. <laughs> um, and I saw, I saw the show with him in it uh, last year at the comedy festival. Love it was it. like night and it was yeah. just I just had a great time and I was like well I'd be kidding myself if I didn't send an email see what happens that's yeah. so nice here we Thanks are you actually sent me a powerpoint and it was <laughs> <laughs> bars and swizzles and shivels and the swizzle that really sealed the deal that did, yeah um, all right so we're going to be making up an improvised musical podcast as we always do the show is based on audience suggestions which we get and write down and put into a bucket called the bowl of destiny and I'm riffling through and swizzling through <laughs> and I have found a title which is called, oh, this is amazing, Confessions from Collingwood <gasps> by Amanda Buckley. Oh. Shout out to Matt Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Buckley, alumnus of Impromptunes and dear friend of most of the people in the room. Sweeney, do you know Amanda? 
I don't know. Well, Amanda. she's about to know you. Um, here we have it. Impromptu presents for the first, last, and only time. Are you ready, Sweeney? I'm absolutely ready. Love that. Are you ready, Brenna? Oh, heck yeah. Impromptu presents with special guest Sweeney Preston. Confessions from Collingwood. Confessions from Collingwood It's time to start Feeling good in the church of Collingwood Ooh, we're gonna stay all night I'm feeling really good in the black and white Ooh, we're gonna pray all night I'm feeling really good in the black and white Ooh, watch that flag fly Ooh, for the Collingwood magpie Walking down the main street, who am I gonna meet? Getting on the 86 tram with my pram. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Everybody get on your knees and say the Lord's Prayer The only thing less than your clothing is all the tattoos layers Oh yeah, we're gonna go up to the stump pupil I think that's the word I don't know, I'm on the 86 tram and the whole life's a blur <laughs> Oh, we're feeling good in the Church of Collingwood Church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the Church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the Church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the Church of Collingwood. Oh, it's no surprise. That everyone here loves the mag pies. Oh, no, when I'm in the south, we're not in the west. We're in the north, but not the east. And that's where I see that black and white priest. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody's outfit here pop? Oh, I know. It's because there's an abundance of up shops. Oh, oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Oh, we're feeling good, yes. Oh, we're feeling good, yes. Oh, we're feeling good in the church of Collingwood. Ah, oh, Clayton. Oh, that was such a great service, man, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. It just felt good to get that all out of my system, you know? Like, I had too many chives this week, so I was like, oh, naughty. Oh, don't worry, mate. I can carry about seven plates because I'm really flexible from all that yoga. That's it, Clayton. You are the most flexible of all the Collingwoodians. You, your, your arms are like akimbo, but your legs are akimbo, and you're just akimbo all over. Honestly, mate, I don't even know which ones are my arms and legs anymore. They're both as utility as the rest of each other. Uh, well, i got to tell you, mate, Clayton, your, your uh, blood's all going to your head right now, so it looks like you're upside down. <laughs> oh, mate, that's intentional. That's how I serve people at the restaurant. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's the thing about um, Sparky's uh, Acrobatic Restaurant. It's, uh, it's a really uh, a tourist attraction. Absolutely. People come all the way from Fitzroy <laughs> to see our... Uh, I saw someone from East Melbourne the other day. Oh, my poor yeah. mate. What, what did you do? You buddy kick them right back to where they came from? <laughs> I mean, come on. We, we could do with the business from time to time. I mean, you're the you're the main attraction there, Clay. Oh, it's true. Me and my spider web legs and arms. Oh, mate. We can bloody, we can entertain a crowd and we can serve a crowd food. Clayton, I know that you say to me, Darren, we can't have anyone from East Melbourne coming to Sparky's Acrobatic Restaurant, but isn't it time we broaden our horizons a little? What do you reckon? I think 
You might be right. Look, we've been wearing the black and the white for so long, and maybe it might be time to take on some other colours. Why do you hate the uh, outside suburbs so much? You've always been so anti anything that's, you know, not in the six, uh, <laughs> three, <laughs> three, one, so what? I can't even remember the postcode. The hipster triangle? <laughs> yeah, the, you know, the hipster triangle of Collingwood, Fitzroy, and North Fitzroy. <laughs> <laughs> look, mate, some days, some days it does get tough. But, uh, look, you just got to remember your goals. Remember what you set out to do. And that was serve a lot of plates simultaneously with your toes. Yeah, I mean, you're nailing that. But you've got such disdain for anyone outside of the golden triangle of, of Fitzroy. What's that about? Is it something to do with your past, your upbringing? You never said whether you were originally from Fitzroy. <sighs> Well, look, we've known each other a long time and maybe it is the day that I tell you where I was originally brought up. You mean it, it wasn't Collingwood? It was in the western suburbs. <laughs> Wait, Plate smash! Say it isn't true. People always say that... Keep your voice down. <laughs> the, the, the western suburbs are crazy and that's... That's only really because Footscray rhymes with crazy. Foots crazy, that's it's what we call purely it. purely a grammatical thing. Is it? Nothing else to it, really. Really? It's quite embarrassing, honestly. If you were going to bully someone, at least be more creative, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like what What do you have in mind? What kind of bullying? Oh, Yarra villains, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. Any more? Thank you. Um, <laughs> set in psychos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> set in Terry's. Uh, Newport numpties. <laughs> The wick, wick, wick idiots. Where, where are be wankers? Yeah. I could go on. You could. You should. I'm just naming the ends of train lines right now. <laughs> but I could go on. Well, there was worse than sweet Craigie Burns on the suburbs. Laverton larrikins. Actually, that's, that's kind of a, a good thing. Well, yeah. But that's what we have here in the Golden Triangle. I can't believe you're from the West, man. I don't feel like I even know you anymore. Well. Just don't let any of those... Priests over here, you know what they're like. Once they hear a confession that someone's from outside of Collingwood or Fitzroy or Fitzroy North, they get banished. Back back in the olden days, I used to think West was best, but I've had my eyes opened by the optometry clinic in Collingwood. <laughs> it's amazing. Discount service. Everyone's a hipster there. <laughs> it's where I got my new set of really cool glasses. Actually, I'm lying. They're just clear lens. <laughs> I know, mate. Oh. You don't have to tell me. Oh, man. I feel like I should tell you more about my roots. Yeah, please. And thanks for trusting me with your secret, Clayton. West is best. That's what I know better than the rest. Oh, West is best. That's what I know better than the rest Everyone said that North was superior They said that West was inferior Everybody said North was superior Everybody said West was inferior They said West was not the best The Western Bulldogs were on the bottom of the ladder I got sadder but then Bailey Smith came along and made them cool Everybody had a mullet before And they used to think they were tools But now everybody is like Oh my god, he's actually kind of hot and trendy West used to be the best West used to be the best there's nothing more I want than to Move back over there But I'm scared that people will think I'm a fool I really, really want to But I don't think I can My parents will think, oh my god That's so, so sad Pauline is best West used to be the best West used to be the best West used to be the best West 
used to be the best. And I think the real reason that I got a job was to avoid that crazy, crazy Western mob. But I'm coming to realize now that everything is safe and sounds on both sides of the city. On both sides of the city. West used to be the best. 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 you do there love I'd just like to uh, <laughs> pay for my meal here at this uh, Sparky's acrobatic restaurant oh, no worries that'll be $54 for that latte oh, <laughs> that's nothing <laughs> here on Smith Street you're giving me an old five Hail Mary discount the oh. thing about uh, being a priest is you always get a you know a bit of a bargain from time to time yes you wouldn't want God to look upon you no you wouldn't want to be Poorly. smoked yes. no. w- would you sister Mary Clarence oh I would not father Whoopi Gold <laughs> ah, to be sure, to be sure. I mean, there was a lot of money that came around in the, uh, you know, the confession uh, basket. But, uh, you know, we shouldn't be spending that on lattes now, should we, son? No, especially not oat milk lattes. Not oat milk, not even soy milk, or even, not even, God forbid, leg- regular milk. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Nobody mentioned regular milk. As we mentioned in the Bible. As we mentioned in the Bible. And the Lord said, thou shalt not, not drink, drink regular, regular milk. milk. Thou shalt, and then parentheses, thou shalt not suckle directly from the teat of the cow. Which, you know, we did take that lesson and sort of, you know, purvey that a little bit as well. Oh, we did, yes. At Collingwood Children's Farm, we did a reenactment. <laughs> we got banned from YouTube, but it was worth it to spread we, the message. We cut to that scene and the children's reaction, No! No, oh, God! Why? 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 No, children, this is the bad thing to do. No, oh, God! Go on, Father, no, lean into no. it! Actually, I think I might have seen that video. I, we got to that that obviously first before anyone else did because oh, we live in Collingwood. Uh, but I think I did see that video. Oh, yes. We went viral. We did go viral. We're bigger than pandemics. Yes. <laughs> Sp- spread faster, apparently. Well, you obviously know a fair bit about marketing there, obviously fo- following the viral videos, and your cafe is doing wonderfully. Ooh. You know... Obviously, doing so well, you wouldn't need to charge a, a priest in a nun. A priest and a priestess. <laughs> a priestess. A priestess of the Collingwood Church. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that's right. Look, we do put a lot of effort into our social media marketing. We have a full-time person just making TikToks on all the different alternative milks you can have here. Wow, that sounds like quite an interesting channel. I'd love to, love to see a little bit of that. Do you have a video there on you? Absolutely. Check out here. Alternative oh, Milk Talk. Your phone is so tiny. <laughs> Oh, gosh, is that the most current iPhone? Uh, well, to be fair, it's just a peanut with uh, etchings in it. But uh, look, it charges really quickly. <laughs> That's true. Whoa. God charges it with nature energy. I feel like we could maybe have a bit of a social media liaison at the church. Wouldn't well, you agree, Father that Goldberg? That would be a great idea, <laughs> Sister Mary Clark. I do have to explain that I did... Grow up in Scotland, but I spent a little bit of time in Ireland. You've told me this before, Sister Mary Clarence. I know all about your lineage. <laughs> Don't need to explain yourself. I sway to between the both. That's true for all of us, isn't it? Now, look, I'm going to stay here and enjoy, you know, a nice read of the of the big issue. And you guys can, you know, talk about the social media. Oh, would you like to come down to the church? Uh, are you asking for a, a collab? Oh, what does that mean? Did you just shorten the word collaboration? Absolutely. That's what us young folk do. Oh, or as I'd like to call you, yoffo. Because I just abbreviated the words like you. Is that the right? Uh, I'm just, never mind. <laughs> Take just, a seat, old just man. One, just one thing before you go. You're from Collingwood, aren't you? <gasps> How does he know? 
that you're from Collingwood, yes? Because you work in Collingwood you and in you Collingwood. seem like Collingwood, so yes. obviously. You're not from anywhere you're from else. You're Collingwood, aren't you? Well, yeah, yeah, sorry. Good, good. Oh, oh then it's that, all fine. You have us worried I'm for just, a I'm just going to go and enjoy my not direct from the teat, <laughs> not direct from the oat latte. Sorry, all, all that chat of teat's got me a little bit distracted. <laughs> well, welcome here, Clayton, to um, Collingwood of the Cross Church. Do you like what you see? Absolutely. I love what I see. Oh, good. Well, uh, we've uh, we've made uh, this uh, the pews out of recycled oak uh, from the, the, the bed, the twin beds of um, refugees. <laughs> that it seems incredibly s- sustainable. Wink. Oh, very, very. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, the, the carpet was um, was hand woven by uh, feminists. <laughs> Great. <laughs> It's a very cool church. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, like, what what are you thinking about making us social media stars, you know? Well, uh, there's a... Have you heard of the brand Milk Lab? Uh, oh, I have, yes. Because I think we could do a bit of a Milk Lab collab. <laughs> oh, oh, well, traps like those will be a viral sensation in no time. Absolutely. So all I'm going to need you to do... Yes. ...is hold up the different Milk Lab milks... And then we're going to film. Okay. I guess um, our message is not so much about milk as it is come to church. <laughs> it's called affiliate marketing. It'll oh, happen. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And I go hashtag, hashtag, like and subscribe. But if people see you holding up the milks in a place like the church, uh-huh. they'll go, whoa, that looks like a cool place. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I just finished my latte. What are you talking about milk promote? I love the idea. Yes. Hey, uh, Clayton's come up with a great idea. Instead of the blood of Christ, it's the milk of Christ. I got it. You're all gonna gloat. Yeah, you're all gonna gloat when you drink a glass of oat. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, your hope's gonna float. Yeah, your hope's gonna, gonna float. When you, Ooh, when you drink. A cup of oats. Are we getting the idea? Absolutely. Oi, oi, have some soy. Oi, oi, have some soy. Oh, yeah, have an almond. Oh, yeah, have an almond. Oh, oi, have some soy and you do no harm when drinking almond. (laughs) Ooh, we're gonna have a gloat. Raise our hopes when we're drinking down some oat. Oh, yeah. The body of Christ is bread and the water is milk. And the marketing, it flows like a spider weave silk. Ooh. Oh, the blood of Christ is holy milk. And it flows like silk. I say it again. Oh, the blood of Christ is glass of milk. And it flows oh, oh, like silk. Oh, the blood of Christ is a glass of milk. And it flows oh, 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 like silk. Well, I say this all sounds good to me. But I have to ask, Clayton, will the body of Christ be gluten-free? Yeah, I hope this idea isn't just a little whim. I hope the body of Christ is skim. Ooh, oh, the blood of Christ is, is a glass of milk. And it flows. Hits already! Whoa! Father Goldberg! Is that a lot of hits? Is that a lot of hits? Uh, sure. I, I guess you got to think of it as your first go. Right. Okay. Uh... Sister Mary Clarence, we got to get to work. Oh, all right. We're going to have to branch out into different types of tea and coffee as well. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, something a little bit like... When you come to drink from his cup, you look inside and see. That the Holy Ghost, the one we love the most, is a cup of oolong tea. Something like that? Oh, the blood of Christ, it is a glass of milk with tea. And it It flows flows like like tea.
let's celebrate. <laughs> Oh, mate, that sounds like it went awesomely for you. Clayton, you're killing it. You're working two jobs now? Thanks, guys. Well, you know what they <laughs> I'm say. I'm just one guy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just standing around listening in. Hey, Clayton, well done. <laughs> sorry, hey, I'm a real pariah. Karen, are you even working today? No, I just... Well, I just wanted to tell Clayton what a great job he's done. Like, I've literally watched that um, Collingwood shirt, Collingwood... Of, of the cross, cross of the church c- viral video like 20 times now. Oh my god, I watched it 85 times. So together we make 105 oh follows. God. No, it's not. It doesn't. No, it's it'd be 100 different people. Oh right, I've yeah. got a bunch of different accounts. Same. Oh okay, well that's that's yeah. weird. Yeah, no. It's but anyway, back thing. to Clayton's success. Do you know what, guys? I think I'm just going to take the win. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, you're killing it, man. We put so much work into that video and it's just great to see some results. And it's so glad good that they don't know that you're from the wh- Oh shoot. From the what? Oh, from sorry, the what? Karen. Uh, from, from the what? From, from, uh, from the West. From the West uh, Wing. The, the West Wing. Of Melbourne. Loved oh, the West Wing. Darren the West Aronofsky? Wing suburbs. Oh. oh man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I watched a lot of the West Wing growing oh, up. Oh, I love that. Walk and Clayton's talk. Clayton's from the West. Talk. I yeah. can't keep a secret anymore. I don't want to tell a lie so close to the church of the Collingwood. Oh, Collingwood Darren, of I don't the want to hear church. that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to know your 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 your. I'm sorry. Dirty I, just, I just felt the need to confess because we're so close to oh. Collingwood of the. Cro- I'm so sorry, Clayton. I didn't mean to. I just kind of. Oh my God! Here comes Sister Mary Cleese now. <laughs> Oh, Clayton, oh, I just came over to tell you that we just reached 150 likes and we're so proud of you that we want you to come and we want you to host communion on Saturday. Wait, wait, Sister Mary. It's going to be a really big deal and I think it's really going to put Collingwood on the map. So if there's nothing that's preventing you from, you know, getting up there and being your true self and giving communion to Collingwood as a true Collingwood person that you are, say now or forever hold your peace. <sighs> Okay, fine. Oh, I'll do I it. knew you were black and white through and through. Oh my god, I can't believe you just lied to Sister Mary Clarence. Oh, you yeah. lied to a nun? Well, if it's going to get the church more views. A priestess, even? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Is it good? I, I feel so bad, guys. Is it net good to tell a lie? To get more people into the church? I just feel like, unlike Collingwood's football colours, it's not a black and white situation. Oh, that's really yes. clever and it's hard to be mad at you when you've made such a cool analogy. But <laughs> what you did was wrong. You told a lie. You told a lie. You told a lie. You told a lie. You told, you told a, a lie. lie. You told a lie. You told a lie. You told a lie to a priest. Oh, you told a lie to a priest. You, you told a lie to a priestess. Well, you told a lie to a priestess. Oh, but unlike Collingwood magpies, the truth is never black and white. Unlike Collingwood magpies, the truth is never black and white. You told a lie. If you don't tell you the truth, lie. you're gonna you be like a Collingwood priestess. supporter you and lose a, a tooth. You lie. gotta tell the you truth. Told a lie. I just want to don that Collingwood jumper. I don't want anyone to thump me. I don't want anyone to be mean. But I want my coffee crushed like a bean. Here's the bread of Christ, you know, nothing oh, there. Gluten-free. Obviously gluten free, obviously. Gluten-free you know, body of yes, Christ. and, uh, yeah, no, and nice of course the blood the milk, of, Christ, the milk of Christ. The milk, coffee, milk and tea Christ. all mixed into a big vat. Oh, that, yes, <laughs> there's chai, the there's soy, there's oat, to the there's skinny. Yeah, he's an earnest man, God. Obviously. You know, Being. and the one thing that he trusts more than anything 
is honesty. Honesty. Number one, do not suckle directly from the teeth of an animal. Oh. Number two, honesty. Yes. Do not. What would Jesus do? Would, <laughs> would not, not suckle, suckle on the teeth yeah. of a and milk would tell the, animal. Would tell the truth also. Well, Sister Mary and Father Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> thank you so much for having me in your church today. But oh, I'll, I'll be oh, honest. It's a pleasure. It's You've a given pleasure. us more followers than than anyone's ever. Yes. The church is full again. Can't you see, Clayton? And they're all here to hear from you. I didn't realize there'd be this many people. Well, and there course, are, and they're all here to see you. Those viewing on the live stream of as course. well. Of course, and they were on TikTok because yes. you're you're your current you're a colleague is TikTok in the whole thing. Yes, and our, our family back in Ireland, Scotland. Of All course. devout Catholics. Yes. Even more than us, actually. Oh, ever so much. <laughs> well, oh. I, I'm just, uh, I'm so glad I could represent Collingwood. Oh, we are why too. Why do you say it like that with a little question You're mark at the end there, Clayton? Collingwood through and through. Through and through. All right, well, let's just get this over oh, and done with. it's time for you to make the unorthodox speech accompanying the communion. Oh, Quick, God. up you get in front of the whole clergy. Oh, yes. The whole, uh, cri- what are they called? Commun- Congregation. Congregation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you organist. <laughs> <laughs> Go on out there and speak your truth. That's what they love about just, you, Just Clayton. tell us, tell them whatever you're about yeah, to say to us. See what's in your heart. G'day, everyone. G'day. 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 Copy with you. My name's Clayton, and I'm. Oh, yes, Whoopi Goldberg. I hate the suburb, Clayton. <laughs> and uh, I'm just so proud to be here, representing the suburbs Woo! that I'm Go from. Cheer, cheer, the black and the white. <laughs> Yeah, cheer, cheer, the black and white. Yeah, exactly. Good old Collingwood forever. (sighs) Go on, mate. Sorry we keep interrupting you. (laughs) Just helpful heckles, you know. We love church. We love it. (laughs) Well, it's it's a great honour to me that I've brought rowdiness back to the church. (laughs) (laughs) And the live stream is going bananas. (laughs) Someone brought a motorbike. (laughs) Crazy frog is here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, we did talk about the magic triangle. Of course, Collingwood, Fitzroy, Fitzroy. And, no, Fitzroy. and North Fitzroy. Like the Holy, the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Father, Trinity. and the Son. The Son is obviously um, North Fitzroy. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a dud. <laughs> but the truth is... <gasps> truth? ...that uh, <laughs> I come from a Land different mother? golden triangle. <gasps> what? Not Fitzroy. You had Bermuda written all over you from the beginning. <laughs> Not Fitzroy, North Fitzroy, and Collingwood. Tell me, tell me it's East Melbourne at least. Oh please. Set in Kingsville and Yarraville. Oh! <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> this, the triangle of life. I'm sorry, is seen here as the triangle of death. And I just got so deep into it that I just couldn't turn back. I started living the life. I started handing out plates with my toes. And I just got so into the act of it all that I just buried those those uh, memories so deep of the West Side that I just became an East Sider, North Sider through and through. Now you know very well that God condo- c- condones two things. One, telling the truth. And two, getting milk in a nice, smart, healthy way. And although you have been truthful here in this church, what makes you think that any one of us, any one of this congregation, thank you, organist, will accept you and your Western ways? Well, the truth is, I just want it to be all the rage. On the For You page All the rage On the For You page All the rage On the For You page On TikTok All the rage On the For You page Wow, this controversial confession is getting us so many likes. Oh my We're God. in the tens of oh, thousands. Read out some of the comments. <laughs> I don't know why those priest and priestess have got their knickers in a twist. They don't even come from Australia. This oh, one's just, you're right. This one's just a bunch of emojis. Oh, I, I can't understand what's it. What's this eggplant mean, Clayton? Oh, I, oh, what's this say? His truth brings me closer to God. And I am um, a good friend of Clayton's. 
And I've got a confession to make as well. What is it? The reason why I like you so much, buddy. I'm from Clayton, originally. Oh my god! Yeah, just that's why we click so much. Yeah, you reminded actually, me of home. I'm sorry. I'm just from the congregation. I'm actually from Berry. Um, I feel oh. really bad about it, but I don't I, bury it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sing it out loud. Oh. Well, yes, I guess you should tell the truth. And in fact, we are from Ireland after all. Yeah, You're from Scotland, from Scotland via Ireland. Scotland via Ireland. Yeah, I'm from Ringwood. All right, shut up in the back. I just there. wanted to be all the rage. I'm from Tasmania. We have exceptions when it comes to that. All the rage on the For You page. All the rage on the For You page. On TikTok. All the rage on the For You page. All the rage on the For You page. It doesn't matter where you come from, my daughters and sons. It doesn't matter. You're all God's holy ones. It doesn't matter where you've been from. That's right. Just know that now you're where you belong. Doesn't matter oh, from which street, just as long as you don't suck on a mammal's teeth. <laughs> it doesn't matter from which valley, all that matters here right and now be is. All the rage, all the rage, all the rage, on the all the rage, on the for you page, on TikTok, all the rage, on the for you page. All the rage on the for you page. The western suburbs are no longer shit, and that's because we've got Bailey Smith. The western suburbs are no longer shit, and that's because we've got Bailey and Smith. And he is all the rage on the for you page. Look at him now. All, all the rage on the for you page. On TikTok. All the rage on the for you page. All the rage on the for you page. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be embarrassed. As long as you come from either side of the Yarra. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can be near or far. You can live in the city. Or on Birangmar. All the rage on the For You page. 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 Oh, and Clayton, <laughs> I tell you, we are you to forgive. That's right. Even now we know that you grew up across the West Gate Bridge. You are all, all the rage, rage on the For You page. All the rage on the For You page. On TikTok. All the rage on the For You page. All the rage on the For You page. I want to be free to live in Werribee. I want to be free. want to be free. be bad you are going to be good and it's because you gave us your confession from calling wood and now you're all the rage on the for you page 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 that's right you are all the rage on the for you page Everybody, confessions from Collingwood with Sweeney Preston, Yay! special guest. I actually am from Seddon. Ah, <laughs> truth in comedy. Well, they do say you use what you know. Oh, tragedy plus time equals comedy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a shame. And how, how are you, you're now uh, in Kensington, so you're moving closer to the city, but not, not quite. Well. I, I don't give away where you live. Oh, my God, spoiler. Kens don't track it down. Me. Uh, Stalkers. I think Kensington's class is like northwest, so it's still yeah. in the title. I mean, that's got bail. It's northwest. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. And we're recording in the south, and some of us are from the west of Australia. So, you know, and some of us are from Colac? No! Where are you from? Nil. Nil! Close. Oh, nil. I was thinking of Mark Gambino. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Gambino, everybody. Shout out My to other Colac. country EPRO friends. <laughs> All right, so, well, Sweeney, it was an absolute pleasure to have you. Did you have a fun time playing? Oh, it, this, this has been such a time. Um, it's, been, <laughs> it's been all the rage, would you believe? <laughs> all the rage. How much? Guys, if you enjoyed our pod, you might, uh, I don't know, TikTok us. I don't know how that works. Get one. <laughs> you might give us a review. You might even become a patron, help us buy a second computer with an 
even bigger screen so that we can be all over TikTok, baby. We'll be all, all the rage, rage on the For You page. page. All the rage on the For You page. On TikTok. All the rage on the For You page. All the rage on the For You page.